So today, we're going to be using one of your guys' decks in the Majestic Challenge and see how well can I do. This time we're going to be using the Knight Assassin, Bomber, and the Rocketeer. Very strange deck, we got two tanks, two attackers, the Rocketeer can be, uh, can be considered as attacker as well, so three attackers per se. Very interesting and strange deck, but uh, we might, we should be able to pull off a couple of wins here, let's see how well can I do. My name is Tom Mike, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Alrighty, shout out to my clanmate down here for recommending me this deck. This is actually his main deck. He actually got himself to 3,900, almost 4,000 trophies just by using this deck. So let's see if I can do the same here. Uh, Mummy, we don't need to worry about the Mummy's ability. We got nothing to heal up, so that's fine. He is going for the Rocketeer. Honestly, that's fine if he decides to go after the Rocketeer. So he's going to hit the Knight. Okay, okay, so he went after, you know, three heroes right there, so not bad. We can actually, um, we could buff up the Rocketeer like this and then hit the Mummy. We actually do hit the Mummy with the Assassin right there as well. So that was like almost 300 damage to the Mummy. We'll definitely take that. Even though I should have probably went after the, of course, the Cleric. But now we might be in trouble here. Actually, let's go, let's do this. Push the Cleric towards the Assassin. Bada boom. And the mummy is almost dead as well. We're doing pretty good. Not, not gonna lie. These, I mean, these heroes just does way too much damage. The assassin is definitely, oh no, he decides not to go after the assassin. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's actually buff up the rockets here while hitting the warrior like this. There you go. And now with the rocketeer going next, I thought the rocketeer was going to get an extra rocket. Sadly, we do not. Rocketeer has how much? 241, that's fine. Uh, he is going to take out the Assassin. Look at this, though. With the Rocketeer going next, we could hit all three of them over here. For sure. Let's do that right there. Push this champion towards the Bomber. How do we miss the Mummy? Are you kidding me? We actually missed the Mummy somehow. That's unfortunate. Alright, all of his heroes are weak, which is good. Very, very good. Uh, he does manage to take out the, the Rocketeer, that sucks. Let's see, Bomber does go next, 188 damage, or health I should say. He has 196 health, I would like to double hit the, the Cleric here while taking out the Warrior. Can we actually do that? No, we missed the freaking Cleric, I should have probably just went after the, I should have probably just went after the Cleric directly. So that bit, that's a big oof. Honestly, that's a big mistake. He is going to hit both of them, I'm assuming. Oh no, he just decides to go after the bomber. Interesting. Alright, so there's that. I don't know if we're going to be able to push the dynamite towards anyone. Because I would like to, you know, take out the cleric first. So let's just go for regular damage here on the cleric. Yeah, that's all we can do. The cleric has 68 health. We would need another two hits right there. The knight, the knight can definitely survive here. Ooh, please, as long as he doesn't get pushed towards the steam or anything. That was super close, dude. Can we get a double hit here on the cleric and then take out the mummy, please? That would be the only way we can win here. Please. Yes! Holy guacamole, what a game! The knight survived with 65 health. I cannot believe we won that, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe we won that game. Let's freaking go, guys. First win, super close, let's continue on. Alrighty, second match here. Again, that was a crazy first match, able to win there. Okay, Cleric, Enchantress, alright. Not happy with the deck that we're facing. We could use, uh, we could, you know, go for the Trap, or actually just push the Assassin. Honestly, let's push the Assassin towards the Cleric here. There you go. Nice little double hit right there for 250 damage right there. Let's freaking go. He is going to hit the Assassin and the Bomber already. The Assassin is going to die here if the Cat uh, goes on the journey. Cat is going on the journey. Thankfully, does not take out the Assassin right there. 189 health. I mean, I guess we just double hit the Cleric here. Thankfully, oh wow, we actually triple hit the Cleric. And we do buff up the Rocketeer. Alright, that's good. Buffing up the Rocketeer, sadly. You know, look, look at this. The Assassin and the Bomber are clearly super weak. 
Buffing up the... Okay, never mind. He's going to buff up the Assassin. He might actually miss a hero here. Oh no, he's just going for the Bomber. Hopefully the Bomber does get... Never mind. Actually, no, the, he's going to hit the Bomber. Bomber sadly does not get pushed up. Alright, not too great. We could hit both of these guys here and hopefully the Enchantress gets close to the Dynamite. So let's do that. Bada boom. Yep. We do push the Enchantress towards the Dynamite right there. So the Enchantress does take like 270 damage. Pretty happy about that. Now he will be taking out the Assassin here. Enchanting the Assassin as well. Well played. Alright, Cannonmaster goes next. The Enchantress already did her job, which is not good. Um, we'll double hit the Cannonmaster here, hit the Assassin hopefully. There you go. And we actually do push the Cannonmaster, or, you know, push the Knight out of the way, so now he can only hit both of them once, I think. I do believe so. Just once, please. Thank you. Only hit them once. We'll hit the Enchantress here, and hopefully this will buff up the Rocketeer, maybe? Probably not. I guess. It does not buff up the Rocketeer. Alright, not good about that. Definitely not good. Alright, let's see what he does here. Going to push the Knight towards the Cannonmaster. I'm kind of okay with that. Of course he gets another hit, though. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. Um... Alright, take out. Let's activate the trap here. Let's activate the trap. I probably should have went after the Cannomancer. But, um... This is... I mean, this is not the greatest. Okay, he's going for the trap. Oh, never mind. He's not going after the trap. He's going for the knight. Don't push it towards the cat, please. Okay. Uh, Thankfully, did not reach the cat. Uh, thankfully, did not reach the... The freaking cat. Can we push the assassin towards the knight? Yep, there you go. Not bad. Can we get another hit? Yes, we do. Well played. Another hit off. Nicely done, ladies and gentlemen. Nicely done. He's going for the double hit on the knight. Oof. All right, now this is where we might lose. This is definitely where we might lose here. Um, I highly doubt we're going to be able to push the Assassin towards the Rocketeer. We have 226 health. Can we push the Assassin towards the Rocketeer? Uh, no. And we pushed the freaking cat towards the Rocketeer too. Seriously? How rude. Yeah, that's game. Especially with the cat buffed. Yeah, that's game. And of course he got the trap. Yeah, leaving the Rocketeer alone as the last man unit sucked. We were a we could have won there if if the assassin would have died. It sucks, but what can you do? This is not my main deck, it's my clanmates. He definitely knows how to use it better than I do. But we try our best, but one win we'll loss, let's continue on. Alright, hopefully we do better this time around. Trying hopefully we can get just get a couple of wins here. Uh my bomber goes next. Um Go for damage or buff up the Rocketeer. Actually, just buff up the Rocketeer here. And we should be able to hit the Cleric. There you go. There you go. We also buff up the Rocketeer even more by hitting hitting it towards the Assassin. Pretty good. Rocketeer has three Rockets. We can definitely use his ability right now. Let's see what he does with his Paladin. He's going to take out the Bomber. Okay. Oh, actually, no. The Bomber's still alive. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, at this point, just go after the Cleric, I guess. Yeah, just go after the Cleric. I don't know if we're going to be able to push it towards the Bomber. Can we actually push it towards the Bomber here? No way, dude. We missed the Cleric. The freaking aim bug. Are you kidding me? I mean, thankfully, we do hit somebody, but I really wanted to hit the Cleric. Like, seriously? That's so unfortunate, dude. That is very unfortunate. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, push the cleric towards the bomber? I don't know what to do here. Push the assassin towards the... No, I guess we just push the cleric towards the bomber here. It should make contact. 
No, we got we only got a double hit right there. Yeah, we're not playing well anymore because that Rocketeer aim bug definitely um uh definitely distracted me, confused me. Bomber is going to die. Well, all right. So the cleric is going to take a lot of damage right there, but he will survive unless we get more hits somehow. We'll buff up the Rocketeer here. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit anyone else. Okay, we do hit the Mummy. Mummy gets hurt. Paladin gets hurt. Uh, Cleric got hurt. And we do buff up the Rocketeer a little bit. Alright, so let's see if we can actually... Oof, okay. Uh, we're getting destroyed here now. And of course, it's Knight sitting in the goop. Yeah, we're not going to win here. No, we're definitely not winning here. We'll take out the cleric here. Hopefully, we'll do hit the mummy. Yep, there you go. Mummy does not hit the freaking knight. And of course, if the rocketeer is the last one alive, we're definitely not going to win, especially if it's a 3v1. It's going to heal up the mummy. Or sorry, the the knight. Or sorry, the yeah, the mummy. I cannot. I'm, I'm mixing up the names and whatnot. We need to buff up the rocketeer. That is my only chance of winning, but I don't know how much we're going to be able to buff up. We actually do buff up the Rocketeer multiple times, and we do hit a little bit of damage to the Mummy. Okay. Let's see if his units stay together. Hit. Okay, both of the units, Paladin and the Assassin, stay together. All right. Uh, we can definitely hit both these guys, and hopefully I can make them sit in the goop. If we can push the Paladin towards the goop up here. There you go. No, he does not send the goop. Understood. Okay. Yeah, that's game. That is game, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, he gets a double hit for the Assassin as well. Yeah, we're struggling now. I honestly don't know how... Like I said, I don't know how my clanmate does it, but he definitely knows how to use it better than I knew. I don't know if I should just go for damage, buff up the Rocketeer as much as possible. I don't know what the strat is. But we're still trying here. Let's see if we can get a couple of more wins. Let's continue on. Come on. We just got to try to win a couple of more. That's all I want. Win a couple of more against a heal deck. Well, it's only one healer. All right. Werewolf goes first. Fantastic for me. My Rocketeer goes first. Horrible for me. We can use the Assassin for damage, though. Let's see. We can definitely use the Assassin for damage. If we push it towards... um. The Frog Mystic right here should do the trick. There you go. Ah, how is that not a double hit? Are you kidding me? That should have been a double hit, dude. Oh, well. He's going to buff up the... Let's just go for the Assassin. Okay. Okay. Not too happy about that, but we can still work... We can still work things out here. I guess we'll just keep using the Assassin here. Push it towards the Frog Mystic. Ooh! Bro, how is the Frog Mystic still alive? 30 health, the Frog Mystic is somehow still alive. The Werewolf keeps getting the buff uh, there. Pretty happy about that. He just does that. That's fine. We can actually buff up the Rocketeer and take out the Frog Mystic. Just so that he doesn't heal anymore. So let's do that right here. Cannot believe the Rocketeer does not hit the Assassin to get an extra buff, but that's fine. Alright, so we took out the Healer. That's good. Took out the healer. Warlord goes next, and he does get the buff. All right. Let's see what he does. Okay, lots of damage. Uh, decent damage. Let's buff up the Rocketeer a little bit more here. Hit the Warlord. All right. Okay. Um, Rocketeer has three rockets, and he does go next. Okay, that's not the play you want to do, but I'll take it. Yeah, this is yeah, this is definitely going to be the play here. You said both of these guys. The assassin, or sorry, the warlord dies because of the assassin. Let's go. Two v four. The problem is leaving the the werewolf as the last man unit. Definitely not good. But um, we're just still going to try to win. Still going to try to win, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Uh, I really don't want the werewolf, you know, to just use his, her ability now. So we just buff up the Rocketeer to hit the 
The Enchantress three times, holy welcome, holy. The Enchantress survived with 16 health. He could buff up the Werewolf just so she could be a menace as a last man unit. He does, alright, he definitely does do that. We'll double hit the Werewolf here, just to get a bunch of damage if possible. There you go. Alright, the Werewolf took like 260 damage right there. Let's see what he does here. Now we have to try to take out the Werewolf before she does a lot of damage to me. Assassin died, so this is where we can go after the Werewolf with the Rocket here. Um, not much I can do, honestly. We can try to push the Knight towards the Rocket here, maybe. Or towards the Werewolf, maybe. Let's see, can we actually do that? Yep, there you go. Not bad. 200 damage right there. Werewolf has how much health? 67. Alright. 67. He's going up to the Rocket here. Thankfully, only one hit. So now we can actually push the Werewolf towards the Bomber. Hit the Enchantress. And there you go, we won. Oh, let's go. Alright, using the Assassin definitely worked. Using the Assassin definitely worked, taking out the Frog Mystic right there. And of course, leaving the leaving the Werewolf as the last man unit alive is definitely not the play, but it actually worked out in this situation. But there you go, guys. We got two wins, two losses. Let's continue on. Alright, two wins, two losses. We already have one life to go. Definitely not good, but we can still try to win here. Let's actually buff up the Rocketeer here while hitting the trap. Uh, Sally wasn't able to hit... Or, you know, to hit anyone or buff up the Rocketeer yet again. Uh, it's all good, though. Okay. Can we actually... No. Let's just hit the... Let's hit, we'll hit the clerk. We'll buff up the Rocketeer. We're doing this right... Right here. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Decent damage to all three heroes. What is he going to do? Go after the bomber, go after the rocketeer. He went goes after the rocketeer. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. Um I, I would like to go after the trap, but it seems like he he has me beaten here. We'll hit both of these guys. Oh! We do take out the Jawsome, but now he's going he's definitely going to hit the trap, I'm assuming, right? He's going to hit the trap. While hitting the rocketeer. Right? Is he going to do that? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Yep, he's going for the Rocketeer and hitting the trap. That's... Well, he could hit the trap, maybe. Yeah, he does. Well played, but now, of course, that happens. Of course, that happens. Alright, Rocketeer goes next. We could try to deal damage to the Mummy by pushing it towards the Knight. Nah, too slow. Alright. Alright, so 4v3, all of his heroes are weak, which is good. Uh, hitting the Assassin and the Rocketeer. Rocketeer is going to get a second hit. Alright, we'll hit the we'll hit the Clerk right here. We do hit the Rocketeer, buffing him up. He could go for the Traps again, which I'm not a fan of. I think that is the best bet that he could do. Oh no, he's just going for the Assassin. Interesting choice. He decides to go after the Assassin. Okay. That's fine. Can we double hit the Wraith? That would be pretty sweet. Or should we... I don't think, I don't think we can double hit the Wraith. If we do, cool. If not, that's fine. We do double hit the Wraith. The Wraith is alive with one health. Are you kidding me, dude? One measly health. He is going after the Rocketeer. Interesting choice. I wouldn't have done that, in my opinion. But that's fine. Uh, Mummy has 163 health. All we gotta do is... Um, we could try to double hit the Mummy and then hit the Wraith. If we miss the Wraith, then it might cost us a game. But we're going to do it anyway. There you go. So now the Mummy literally has one more turn to win here. The Knight has a lot of health. We'll definitely win this one. For sure, we'll definitely win this one. He's going for the knight, and the, oh, of course. So he hits both of them. And Bomber going next, dealing 106 damage. That's, that's freaking absurd. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we just won that match. So we got three wins, two losses. Hopefully we can get, you know, two more wins, three more wins. Uh, fingers crossed that we can do so. Let's continue on. All right. Hopefully, 
Hopefully we can do this. He has Seder with nothing to enchant. Interesting. That's that's a waste of a space having the Seder with nothing to enchant. So he's going to burn everyone. Wow, multi hitting the freaking uh multi hitting the freaking knight like that. Okay. We'll hit the paladin here. Hopefully this will buff up the rocketeer as well. Uh, I would like to buff up the rocketeer, please. He surrendered. Okay, we'll take the free win. Uh he probably had the wrong deck or something. I don't know. But regardless, we're going to take the free win, ladies and gentlemen. So we got four wins, two losses. Let's continue on. Alrighty. Let's see if we can continue on winning here. Armadillo with nothing to enchant me. Okay. I mean, I'll, again, I'll take I'll take a free hero that cannot use their abilities. He's going for the knight and the assassin. And now they're going to get pushed. Alright. Okay. Actually... Oof, I don't know if we can actually use um, the Assassin's ability. I don't think so. Because, again, I would like to hit the Cleric, but I don't think that's doable. I mean, we'll try to push the Knight and hope for the best. Yes, look at that. Wow, that was 300 damage, but the Cleric is still alive. Cleric is still alive. Let's see what he does. Going for the Rocketeer in the night. I'm okay with that. Definitely okay with that. I guess we just hit the Enchant... Or sorry, the Huntress here? No, no, no. We'll double hit the... Um, we'll double hit the Cleric here. And let's see if we can uh, deal some more damage somehow. Yeah, look at that. We do hit the Champion right there. The Cleric is alive with 4 health, ladies and gentlemen. 4 measly health. Understood. He's going for the Rocketeer. Rocketeer is barely hanging on. Armadillo does go next, so I'm just going to leave him alone. Let's do this. Take out the champion. Oh, well, actually, the champion is still alive, but we do take out the cleric. The champion is alive with 20 health. Armadillo goes next. He is behind the Huntress, so it's kind of blocked. Could use the, the Huntress for damage, of course, so... Yeah, he completely whiffed the attack. Super stoked about that. Let's buff up the Rocketeer. Hit the Armadillo. There you go. Pushing it towards the steam, so... Or not the steam, the um, the goop. I'll take it. So the Rocketeer is going to die no matter what happens. Because of the... um. Well, he does get that direct damage. It's all good. Alright. We could go after the champion. We could just hit both of these guys. We could try to double hit the armadillo, maybe? If we do this correctly? I don't know. Yeah, we do. We do double hit the armadillo there. And still on the goop, so that was pretty good. Pretty good. We're getting both of them really weak. The Huntress is the only one that's pretty healthy. Um, oh, well, I mean, look at this. We definitely have to do this. Use the Assassin uh, at the Huntress right here. We do take out the Champion. Armadillo is still taking damage. Armadillo has 38 health, so... Uh, and he is going to move, sadly. So, unless he stays in the goop somehow, we have to attack him. Okay, so the bomber is going to die here. The bomber is dead. Ooh, look at this. We could actually hit the armadillo by hitting the huntress like this. The assassin should go down. There you go. All right. Um, oh, wow, the huntress is still alive. Thankfully, the assassin needs three hits to get taken out. The knight needs two or three hits. So he's going for the three, try to get the three hits right there. Not able to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get our fifth win right here. What a crazy match. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We just got another win right there. Um, hey, I'll, no, I'll take the free victory in, my, in the last match. Get the victory here as well. Five wins, two losses. I'm now I'm pretty happy with the run. Let's continue on. Okie dokie. Come on, we're doing pretty good. Now we're doing pretty good. Very happy about this. Um, my knight goes first. We could buff up the Rocketeer, but of course, using the Assassin is always a play, I'm assuming. Let's push the Assassin towards the Cleric here. Let's go. We also buff up the Rocketeer. Pretty good start. Pretty good start. We do buff up the Rocketeer. Gargoyle goes next. Let's see what he's going to do. Just a little multi-hit right there. Not bad. Rocketeer goes next, but we're blocked. Dude, 
We are blocked. I mean, I would like to hit all three of them, but sadly I cannot. Can we push the Gargoyle towards the Assassin? Yeah, look at that. 300 damage right there. I'll take it. 300 damage to the Gargoyle right there. Have taken so much damage. Depending what he does here, we can still use the Assassin for damage. Sadly, now I cannot. We could give... No, 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 no. I would like to try to... Okay, we actually still gave um, the Bomber defense buff while dealing damage to the Cleric, so not bad. Um, Cleric has 208 health, so two hits from the Bomber will get taking him out. So can how can we do this? How can we do this? Other than we could try to push the Bomber towards the Cleric and hopefully he hits him twice. Can we do that? Yes, let's go. We took out the Cleric before he was able to use his ability. Leaving the Assassin alive is dangerous, dude. He is mad. So he'll probably take out the Assassin. And... I mean, at this point, I think it's best to just buff up the Rocketeer somehow. Should we? Should we buff up the Rocketeer? Or should we just go after the Gargoyle, honestly? Gargoyle will die in two hits. You know what? I'm going I'm going to take out the gargoyle. Probably not the play. I cannot believe I missed. We enchanted the gargoyle, but I completely missed a double hit. I did not expect him to be that super heavy. I should have checked his stats, I guess. I don't know. Alright. Um We're not doing good too great anymore. Can we hit someone with the with this rocket? We do hit the <laughs> the Thunderpots. Okay, we'll take it. A little bit of damage to the Thunderpaws right there. He'll hit all three heroes here. Please, oh, he's going to double hit the Bomber, isn't he? Yeah, the Bomber's going to receive a double hit. That's not good. Lot, lots of damage right there. We'll buff up the Rocketeer here. There you go. Oh, dealing damage to all three heroes right there. We'll take it. Taking out the Gargoyle. Okay. Okay. All right. This is getting pretty close, though. He might push the knight towards the cat. Towards the cat master for the little bit of damage. He's going for the knight towards the... Oh! I don't know if he's going to hit it towards the cat. The knight is pretty tanky and heavy. Yep, exactly. Um, exactly. He'll probably take out the, 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 um, the bomber right now. We'll just do this. I cannot... Okay, we do buff up the Rocketeer. We do buff up the Rocketeer. Okay. That's good that we buff up the Rocketeer. If he takes out the Bomber, our best bet is to... Oh, no, he's not taking out the Bomber. He's going for the Rocketeer. He'll hit the Knight, too. Oh, I'm confused what he wants to do. No, okay, now he's going for the Bomber. He, did he just, he wasted a turn. No way he wasted a turn. Let's push the Canamancer towards the bomber. Hopefully that'll make contact. No, we missed. Ah, we do buff up the Rocketeer, but I cannot believe we missed that. We missed that. Okay. Okay, so that happened. All right, so let's see. The Knight has 164. Six health, okay. We'll do this. The bomb was in reach of the freaking Thunderpaws, but not the Catamancer. So now this is where I think I think we are going to lose here. Especially if he gets a hit off, he might okay at that angle he's definitely going to miss. Please miss. Don't don't reach, thank you. Um is giving the defense above the plane. Actually, you might. I think the, because of it, the knight can tank three hits instead of two. So let's do this, and hopefully we do hit the Cannonmaster. We completely whiffed it. Okay. Okay. But we should be able to tank now. We should be able to tank. Unless he gets like... Oh, there. Oh, look at that. He missed. So, 
we can survive one hit, but not two. So let's see if we can somehow make the Canamancer completely whiff the second hit. Get Ah, oh, no! Why did the knight land there? No! Yep, we just lost. If the knight would have landed somewhere else, then maybe. But of course the knight had to land there, and we lost. And of course I didn't get a triple hit somehow. Oh, come on, guys. We could have won that easily. We could have gotten six wins. I mean, five wins is okay. I just cannot believe that we lost that one. We should have won that one for sure. We'll take the rewards here. Knights and Max. Bombers and Max. Arrowheart, definitely need them. Even though nobody uses them. Sadly. And Ice Queens. Alright. Not, not too bad. Five wins is a, is a pretty good run. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below. And subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Again, should have gotten six wins. Probably even farther if I would have won that match. But completely with that last play but it's all good if you guys have any recommendations that you want to see just let me know down in the comments below and it's only there for you guys thank you so much for watching this video and thanks again for the continued support i'll see you in the next one take care